Hey everybody, Chiron here, and welcome back to another episode of Banished. So, where we left off, we were getting everything uh, pretty much optimized as much as we can to try and squeeze in as many people as possible without them all dying off on us. Last episode, we were taking a look at some of our situations for uh, clothing and tools. Uh, we are out of the woods on all those, but uh, tools... I, I would like to have a little bit more of a stockpile on those. Um, let me actually increase that to a thousand just so that if, uh, we overproduce if at all possible. So we have three large smithies pretty much working around the clock getting steel tools in place and they just barely can keep up. Uh, if you take a look right now we have 700 total citizens with 531 adults. Um, so 531 adults are going to use a lot of tools. So you might actually have to put in a fourth smithy. Uh, take a look at these. We need... Let's see. So I was taking a look at some of the supplies that we have. We have a lot of beef. We have a lot of milk. Sugar cane we can't really do anything with. Um, so we might have to make another dairy does not seem that they're able to keep up producing um, some cheese and things like that from the materials. The only problem is they don't produce very much to begin with. Um, they produce about twice as much as what they consume, which is not all that great. Uh, beef we could probably do something with. We do have our butchers here butchering beef to make cured beef, or corned beef. We do have smoked fish, which we could potentially change that over to something else like uh, charky cuts, the the jerky here. But I think our fish intake is pretty good. Yeah, we have 11,000 fish, so we'll probably leave the fish as it is. Um, the issue is we need to get rid of these buildings. It's taking up a lot of prime real estate. So I think the salting house I'm going to move down into this area. Um, this is where we're making our barrels, and we do have a bunch of cattle farms down here. And then the uh, smokehouse, where we do the smoked fish, I can move over here. Uh, we could potentially also do surstroming. That might be an option, too. Uh, what does our salt supply look like? 317. We don't have an abundance of salt. We do have five people maxing out on this. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Why don't I, uh... Why don't we go like this? Let's, uh, let's make one of each, a smokehouse and a salting house. Uh, where are they gonna be? So, smokehouse. here, and then a salting house. I think they're the same size. So those will fit nicely in there, and we'll turn both of those into fish. So we'll do surstroming, and we'll do smoked fish. What are we out of? We're out of barrels. Mm. Okay. And then... What can we do down below? Probably corned beef is really the only thing. Brined cheese. We don't produce enough cheese right now, but we do have milk, so we could do another dairy. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We could do... We could do charky. Because we do have our llamas here. Corned llama. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see what else we have here. I, th I think we'll just have to increase the number of uh, butchers that we have. That's really the only way that we can do it. Yeah, so let's... Uh... Hmm, they do require logs, though, and we don't really have an abundance of logs. Let's uh, actually go with this one. So we'll do the salting house. Oops. We'll uh, remove both of these structures. And we're going to make salting houses, or a salting house down here. So, salting house. 
I still need to clean this up, don't I? Hmm, so much to do. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll continue on with our. Hmm. So that won't fit there. We need to get rid of this. Um, this is getting in the way of our road. And then once we do that, I think we can put in our salting house right there. Let's get the priority up on that one so that we can get that in place. And then we need to replace that with another bundling shed. <laughs> we are just plain out, out of room. Alright, let's do this as well. So we'll get rid of this statue carver. And we should be able to fit the statue carver and the bundling shed in the same spot. Alright, so that's out of there. Let's uh, go back into our food, our salting house. Put that right there. And then the statue cover, I believe, will fit here. And then our bundling shed, we can squeeze in. Let's see, bundling shed. No, we won't, because this storage barn's in the way. Hmm. Yep, and there's no space. No space in there. There's a uh, uh, one slot roadway. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll find some room for this. We'll just have to put it uh, a little bit more out of the way. Yeah, we could put it up here. Let's see, where do we have room for this? We'll, uh, we'll put it here, actually. I think that'll be a good spot for it. Alright, now we have room for more townhouses, uh, country houses. So we can get those put in place. Yeah, I don't think we can fit them in here, can we? And uh, no. Put some sideways. We could we could probably find something to put in there. Hmm. Not exactly sure what though. It would have to be a maximum of four wide, which there's not a whole lot that's four that's three wide plus a road. Hmm. Could put a tavern up there. So we don't really we have a, we have a tavern down here and then we have our inn and garden down here but we don't really have anything up here. It would be right next to the college, <laughs> so that would that would be kind of fitting. All right. So we'll do we'll do maxed out on that one. Okay, so this is the same as the Preservist. And then for here we're going to do corned beef. And we need a butcher for cows. We don't have a whole lot of room left on this map, but I think we can squeeze this in somewhere. Can I fit, uh, can I fit two in here? There we go. All right, and then let's get our road put in place. We're gonna do the red brick. Let's see, barrel salt, and then they need beef cuts, which those are gonna be on their way. All right, then these are built. Beef jerky, beef cuts. That's gonna be the same thing. Let's let's change this one to. Uh, we gotta demolish it, don't we? Let's, hmm. Let's leave that as it is. And we'll do... Hmm. 
We'll do that. So. That uh, should hopefully use some of our excess materials here. So we have just a ton of beef, and then we need to take care of milk. So let's make another dairy as well. Which I think is here. Yeah. That's a pretty big building, but not a whole lot we can do about that. Um, right there. And then we'll throw a road in here too. Then that will outline kind of this this uh, neighborhood block. I think uh, I think that should pretty much do it there. So one, two, three, four. What do we have? Butcher seven of seven. That one's max. Yeah, these are all maxed at one, unfortunately. So yeah, one of one maxed. All right, and that's going to increase our uh, supply of tallow. So if we take a look at these, they produce quite a bit of tallow with the beef cuts and sausage. And I think the tallow is what we're using. Oh, we're using beeswax for tallow. Yeah, and we're going to have an excess of beeswax as well then. So we don't really need candles anymore. How many candles do we have? We have 1,600 candles. 1600 candles. That's quite a few candles. I think what we might need to start doing is taking some of these extras and funneling them into our trading post and just getting rid of them. So we just we just plain out don't need that many candles. Let's do that. All right. So this is something I I actually didn't think we would ever use it, but I think that we have a need for it now. Our log supply is dangerously low again. All right. Let's, let's see right here. So let's get our beeswax capped out. Let's see, tallow. And we have 2,000 tallow here. Holy smokes. So we'll cap out our tallow as well. And just get those out. Um, so we, we honestly don't need them. We have 1,600 candles, and there's not really anything else that uses tallow. Um, I think bone meal was another one. Let's max out bone meal over here. And then we can start buying more seeds with uh, with bone meal and tallow and all that kind of stuff. Whale blubber. I don't know if we need whale blubber either. So I think we have a, a plenty of lamp oil as well. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to have to kind of do a clearance sale on all of our extra items here. Alright, one other thing I wanted to do was... Get the trading post here. So we do have logs and stone on purchase, but like I said in a previous one, there's not a whole lot of people that actually bring those materials, the vanilla materials. So hopefully we can find somebody that we can do orders for. But uh, until then, I'm not exactly sure what we can do about our log situation. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so we'll let those fill up with all those excess materials. So these houses were built. We are losing food. So let's take a look at our production here. So food. Yep, we are losing food. So 78,000 was used and we produced 71,000. So I think what we'll need to do... We don't really have a whole lot of excess let's see we'll we'll put two people in there and then that should let's see dairy workers four of four so we don't have a lot of room to produce more food really all we can do at this point is 
use the existing food that we have and make it last longer. So like I said, the cow butcher doesn't do the greatest job in the world. I think it takes in five beef and turns it into, all right, so it just used, let's see. So we have 182 and 78. 182, 78, so 195. So it turned that into 13. So it turned 10 beef into 13 beef cuts. It, when I have a person using this, we're getting three per, so they would have to produce 100 beef cuts extra just to feed themselves. <laughs> um, so like I said, the, the beef cuts, the butchers are not that great. But when you combine it with the salt in the barrel, I mean, 30 beef cuts to 266. We'll see how much this produces. So, so again, that so it turned 10 beef into 13 cuts, and then 10 cuts into 14 corned beef. So between these two buildings, it didn't quite double our food production. So just something to keep in mind, you know, you don't, you don't want to really go nuts on these types of buildings. We have 170 extra laborers, so honestly, if this person just feeds themselves <laughs> with the extra food that they make, I would be happy with that. We're not trying to grow our civilization and, and keep up with a, a gigantic population or anything like that. And, and uh, you know, have to produce massive amounts of food in a very short amount of time, like we were in the beginning, producing you know 800 food and you know 4,000, 1,600 food. These are producing what 4,800 at most. They're not even doing that good. 2,700. So yeah, everything's kind of coming to a little bit of a slowdown here, trying to keep everybody alive. Let's see, food production. Yeah, we're not too bad in the last season that we had. So, so I think we just need to keep uh, keep going and continuing to squeeze out pretty much as much as we can. All right, so we'll go back to name. How are we, how are we doing on flour? So we have plenty of flour. We could potentially... Actually, I'm going to max this one out. We could potentially make another bakery. That's a pretty big building, too. Alright. And I think we might need to start getting rid of some buildings too. So a lot of these buildings I just built basically to show what they did and things like that, but we don't really need them. So the gem cutter we honestly don't need. <laughs> um, the placer mine and the precious mine we'll, we'll definitely keep. But like the statue carver we don't really need more statues. <laughs> we, have, we have more statues than we know what to do with. So, and even here, they took in a jade statue and a stone statue on their own, so we have plenty of statues. Alright, so what I might do is make some more fishing docks as well. They don't, they don't produce the greatest amount of goods, but they produce enough to feed all of the workers, plus a little extra. So... Hmm. We'll go within a little fishing area. Let's see, fishermen. I think there's four. There's the tidal pool. We'll increase that one as well. We might as well. Like I said, every every warm body that can produce more food is going to benefit us. This one's actually not doing too bad. Four people for twenty two hundred food. That's uh, that's not too shabby. This is a really good spot, though. The more water you have around any kind of a fishery, uh, the better. So. Um, don't have any lakes. Yeah, that's a bummer. Let's see. I'm 
there's not really any good places. We kind of kind of used up all the good spots to put the the fisheries, the docks, and all that good stuff. Let's see, you're maxed out. You produce absolutely nothing. <laughs> I don't even know why I have that. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got at the trading post here. So. Barley, hemp, we're not going to do any of the field items, I don't believe. Let's see, barley, do we have barley? I don't believe so. So let's... Oh, they don't even take towel, that's no good. Alright, so I have about $10,000 worth of bone meal that I can play with here, so... I don't think we have butter lettuce, do we? Butter lettuce. Wish these were alphabetical, that would definitely be nice. Yeah, we don't have butter lettuce. So we'll do butter lettuce, we'll do barley seeds. This is going to be... Let's trade in, oh, seven. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we'll trade that. We'll dismiss that one. And then coming over here. Oh, that is a lot of seeds. Holy smokes. All right. And what else can we give you? So inventory. Just take a look by quantity. Holy cow, we have 20,000 tobacco. Man, we need to put in another curing house. All right, so we still have a ton of tallow. So let's let's fill both of these up with tallow. Uh, tallow. Not a lot of people will trade for tallow, but if we luck out, we might be able to get one person. Uh, actually, he does trade tallow. Awesome. The farm supplier, I'm not sure. They may trade everything. That would be that would be handy. See, I could probably get rid of a lot of lumber. To be fair, get rid of a thousand lumber. Whale blubber. Yeah, everything else is pretty manageable for now. As we start to fill up our uh, warehouses, we'll revisit some of this as well. All right. So we'll max that out, we'll max out arrowheads. Uh, tallow, they haven't moved over yet. Increase our uh, working folks here. So they can move those over a little bit faster. Number sells for four, that's not bad. And we may just sell all of our like statues and I... Um, is it pottery? So I think we made pottery, but the only place that uses it is... I can't even remember. Alright. Fire bundlers, 10. How are we doing over here? Alright, so they're producing some pretty good beef cuts. So 294, yeah, those those are doing pretty good here. All right, how much do we have? 8,300. Let's take a peek. So sunflower we have. We need that. I didn't see it. Rock melon. Rock melon and pepper. I don't 
I see chilies, but I don't see pepper, so we'll do that. Why are you guys not doing your thing? There we go. Honestly, we, we just have an absurd amount of labor, so we might as well just cap it out. Unless we're out of tallow now. Tallow, no, we have plenty. All right, so we'll uh, we'll wait for them to get off their lazy bums and <laughs> start stocking our suppliers here. And in the meantime, what I'm actually going to do is build the resource depot. Um, it wasn't something that I thought we were originally going to need, but it actually might be helpful. Uh, what we can do for supplies that we want to keep us a little bit of, we can actually put it right there. Um, like candles, we don't need them right now. But if I ever decide to, actually, I have to upgrade this mine, so we need at least 120 candles. Um, but then uh, this will hold on to 120 candles for us, and then we'll be able to sell off all of our other candles and just make some room in all of our warehouses. All right, we're looking better now. So we're we're producing at about the rate that we're consuming. But we need logs. Holy cow, do we ever need logs. I use this coal. Alright, these guys are just being slow. Boy, oh boy. It is rough watching over 700 people. <laughs> oh, looks like we just had a big, uh, massive old age die off. And nomads, probably like 100 of them, 61. Nope. <laughs> we got enough babies being born. Oh, speaking of which, we need to upgrade our country house, our country school here. Um, these both should be farmers colleges. So that's a farmers college and that's a farmers college. So those are good. We'll have this one here and then that should take care of us for pretty much the rest of the game. Man, these are just full of beef. <laughs> oh, of course. Quite a few cattle down here, so how are these doing? Those are doing pretty good. So yeah, I think the name of the game at this point is just going to be optimization, because we don't have a whole lot left to do. We we only have these very small patches of forest. And honestly, I might I might take down the hardwood forest, or we just don't need it, and I might replace it with just regular logs. Um, hardwood. Yeah, we have 5,600 hardwood. So let's let's demo this. So we're going to take this down. Uh, I'm going to do a resource clear for this entire area. Take down those hardwood trees. And then we're going to plant in a, another standard, plain old fashioned forester. We desperately, desperately need logs and fuel. Why is our fuel so low? Um, let's see. Fire bundler is ten. So you're doing sugar cane. You're both doing sugar cane. Um, you're on sugar cane. One, two, three, four. Missing one here. You, sugar cane. And then we should have plenty, right? I think last time I looked. <laughs> sugar cane, 20, 29,000. So, yeah, we should be producing a lot of fire bundles. Hmm. 
Interesting. I might need to keep an eye on that. All right, so we'll we'll do 240 candles here, and then. What else do we really need to hold on to? We'll do 240 lamp oils. That's really all we need to hold. So, hmm, yeah, just keep it at that for now. Ah, there we go. So now they're getting into high gear here where they're taking everything over. So what I think I'm going to do, um, we're at about time, we're at 31 minutes now. So what I think I'm going to do is just fill up both of our trading posts and our farm supplier with just miscellaneous items like this and trade them out for seeds. Um, it's, it's pretty obnoxious having to go through this list and search for every single one of these to see if we already have it or not. And I'm not aware of any other way that we can kind of compare what we have and what we don't. So... Um, I'm probably going to do that off camera and just, just take a little while to kind of just peruse through this, make sure that we're not double buying, double buying and not missing anything. So I think uh, that's going to be my homework. And holy cow, what's in here? Stone. Whew. All right, we have an abundance of stone now. Oh, yeah, we, uh, in the last episode, we were pretty much completely out. And now we have way too much. <laughs> it always seems to be the way it goes. So once we get everything optimized and we're, we're producing as we're consuming, I think that's going to be quite a bit better. So, And we're out of tools again because we're out of logs. Oh boy. Uh, never running struggle with the tools. So like I said, uh, it's going to do it for us. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time kind of cleaning up our inventory here and see what we can do about just uh, make sure everything's running smoothly going forward so yeah that'll do it so thanks for coming out everybody and see you next time